Okay, we're in the basement area. Uh, access. Let's see. I don't think we have a walkout here. We've got... Yeah, you'll have to come through the interior. Down the stairs here. And then over here to the right. And we're looking at a couple different things, options. Uh, the customer is looking at either just replacing this water heater, the 75 gallon uh, standard water heater, uh, or they'll replace this with a power vent, which then we would eliminate our vent here. And you can see we've got the two HVAC systems coming in, so we can just take that out right there, extend that up. Um, that's a four inch line going up, or they're going to do a high efficiency uh, direct vent. If we do that, and the power vent, either one, uh, those will come up here. Over here, this little bump out area, I believe is the front porch, front door. So we're gonna keep down this direction. I think the garage is over here. Somewhere along here is where we'd either run the power vent or the direct vent with the two lines or single line. Uh, maybe ideally, we can do the flush mount outside there. It is a brick uh, outside exterior that will have to come through and keep it behind the bushes out there will be fine. Um, if we do another option she's talking about is possibly a tankless water heater. Uh, same scenario on the venting. Uh, gas line is right here. I'm wondering as far as space if it could be mounted right here. I may have to take some of this out of the way and this gas line get rerouted. Uh, Got a three quarter inch copper line here. That's a one inch coming down. One inch line coming down. But it's uh, oh, seven eighths OD. It's almost one inch here coming down. So we may need to reroute, push that back, feed into the water or to the HVAC system, and then hook into the tankless as well. Uh, that gas line comes up. You can see it splits off from right here. So I don't know if you have to come back here and feed off it, get enough gas. Goodness, that's a monster pipe coming down. Inch and a half gas line coming down. But we got space right there. Um, the space on that wall look here real quick we've got about looks like about 28 inches there's a stud right there you can mount there it should be about 26 inches wide um, from here to here would be 26 now again this this would have to be rerouted because there's not a ton of room there. But, uh, you know, the alternative is uh, back. That's a whole lot of storage. So, really limited right here as far as the unit mounted. Um, would have to move this electrical, which is for the furnace here. Move that out of the way. Uh, this gas line we're going to reroute anyway and then like i said the hvac vent we can bring it out towards the front and then route it up to open up the space right there um so those are the options uh the one last option i was talking to her as well is if she goes with this standard water soft or excuse me water heater is possibly uh, putting a water softener with it too which would sit softener here Probably put the brine tank over here. Uh, just run the line over um, either behind the HVAC system and hook it back up over here. But if we put it right there, um, the water line, feed line coming into the house is right there, coming up, comes over, it's, it splits off here. So we're gonna have to cut into here, run that if we can. You're not gonna be able to run that over because you got a beam down here and you're not going to run it over the beam. So 
I guess you can run it through the, the cavity. So if you could cut it here, if you're able to run it through this cavity and over the beam, then you can drop it down here, hook into here, and then run it back up and either hook right back up there or, or one of these other spots over here. Yeah, you're gonna have to go back, hook it up up there. So, I know it's several different things there, but uh, I don't know which direction she wants to go, and I'll have to get with you to verify what direction she chooses uh, for sure. Uh, if we do the water softener as well, here's the drain right here in front. Um, there is no outlet that I see here. Right here, there is a box up there. That maybe you can drop a line down to it to plug in or just make that an outlet and plug the softener into it all right thanks